What is going on YouTube fam? And welcome back to the Fit Men Cook Kitchen for part two of my series with my friends from Amazon Echo. Now, if you missed part one of our series, then I want you to go check it out right now because we made some banging bacon, cheddar, sweet potato, corn muffins. Yeah, I know it is a mouthful, but it is the perfect holiday indulgent treat because tis the season of comfort eating, but we are doing so in a much more calorie conscious way. Now, the Amazon Echo is an amazing tool that makes life simple. You simply just ask a question and it gives you the solution. And that's especially important for today's recipe because we are making some cauliflower pizza bites. You will need two things for it that you may not already have in your pantry or your fridge, marinara and a cheesecloth. Now I'm gonna show y'all how to make a quick marinara because this is a Fit Men Cook channel, but if you're pressed for time and just wanna pick some up at the store, you can do that. Alexa, add marinara to my shopping list. I put marinara on the shopping list. And the second thing is a cheesecloth. Cauliflower holds a lot of water. So what we're gonna do after we blend it up is to squeeze all the water out using this cheesecloth. I found that this is the best tool to have in order to get the most amount of water out of the cauliflower. Alexa, what's the top cheesecloth on Amazon? Amazon's choice for cheesecloth is Pure Acres Farm 100% unbleached cheesecloth, 18 feet two. It's $6.99 total. Would you like to buy it now? Yes. Alexa, set the timer to 45 minutes. 45 minutes, starting now. All right, if you're ready to get your hands dirty and roll up your sleeves, then let's get started. Alexa, play my cooking playlist on Spotify. Cooking from Spotify. Alexa, next track. That was the other video. There we go, that's more like it. All right, y'all, let's go. First thing, blend cauliflower in a food processor until it looks like rice. Then place it on cheesecloth. Wrap it up tight and put that strength to use. Squeeze it dry. Now look at that water. Grip game is strong. Dump it in a bowl and mix with garlic flakes, Parmesan, almond flour, and egg white. Spray a muffin pan with olive oil then add a tablespoon of the mix to each one. Use your fingers to mash it down to create mini pizza crusts and bake for 15 minutes at 400. Now while that's baking, saute garlic and olive oil. Add chopped tomatoes and cook for about five or six minutes or until they're soft. Add Italian seasoning, then plain tomato sauce. Stir it up, season to taste with sea salt and cook for about five more minutes. Add about a teaspoon of marinara to each mini pizza, then top with reduced fat mozzarella. Bake for about eight more minutes. Then garnish with fresh basil for a ridiculous tasty treat. Oh yeah, boom! Do me a favor and hit that like button below then get the full recipe from fitmancook.com and download the Fitman Cook app for more easy, healthy, practical meals.